two children for our lesson, second science lesson on everyday materials. We're looking at how we might be able to change the shape of objects depending on the material that they are made from. So how can we change the shape of objects made from some materials? What would we have to do to change the shape? Have a little think about this question. Can you think of an example of when you've changed the shape of something at home or at school? What was the object and how did you change it? Which materials do you think would be easy to change the shape of? Would paper, for example, be easy to change the shape of? Something made from paper. What about something made from plastic? or something made from wood. Which materials do you think would be more difficult to change the shape of? For example, metal. Would it be hard to change the shape of a metal object? Or an object made out of rock? And if so, why? I want to share a short video clip with you now to explore a little bit more about changing the shape of objects made from certain materials. Changing the shapes of materials. Our world contains many different materials to explore. Change the shape of some of them. Some materials can be stretched. Some materials can be twisted. Some materials can be bent. And some materials can be squashed. But some materials are harder or even impossible to change. Before you carry out your investigation today, children, let's remind ourselves of how we might change the shape of an object. Well, we might squash an object by pushing both hands together. We might be able to bend an object by grabbing both ends of the object and bringing the ends inwards together. We may be able to twist an object by turning our hands in opposite directions. One hand clockwise on one hand anti-clockwise. And we might be able to stretch an object by pulling our hands slowly and gently apart. Think about a ruler. Can you twist a ruler? Can you squash a ruler? Let's think about a pencil. Can you stretch a pencil? Or bend a pencil without breaking it? What I'd like you to do today is to investigate whether or not it's possible to stretch, twist, bend and squash a variety of objects made of different materials. Around your homes and possibly your gardens, I'd like you to try and find the objects here that are in the table, which is in your home learning pack for you to complete. If you can't find all the objects, that's absolutely fine. You can either substitute them for something else or just leave that object and we'll explore it when we're back in school together. So if you can find the following objects, you'll need to pause the video now while you go on a little object hunt. You need to find a stone or a pebble, Play-Doh or some plasticine, a rubber, an eraser, something made of sponge, a ruler, an elastic band, 
or maybe a hair scrunchie, a piece of string or maybe wool, a plastic ball, some fabric, something made out of fabric, a plastic straw, a metal spoon or metal object, and something made from wood. As I say, if you can't find all those things, that's absolutely fine. But if you can find as many of them as possible, you then need to try stretching them, twisting them, bending them and squashing them. And remember children to refer back in the video to how we might squash, bend, twist and stretch our objects. If you can stretch them, then put a tick in the box under stretch. If you could twist them, then you need a tick in the box under twist. If you can bend them, then you need a tick in the box under bend. And if you can squash them, you need a tick in the box under squash. If you can't do those things to them, if you can't change the shape of them by stretching, twisting, bending and squashing, you need to put a cross in the box. I think you'll be able to predict some of them, especially stone and play-doh. They're easy ones to start you off. Have a little exploration and experimentation with the rest of the objects. And then in the last box, I want you to tally how many ticks you've got for stretching, twisting, bending and squashing. And that will tell me and you how many objects you managed to change the shape of. children have fun exploring changing the shape of some objects made of everyday materials.